In this video, we will describe an essential functionality in form development, the dependencies between form fields. Dependencies allow us to enable fields on the form when certain conditions are met or disable them if not. For example, in forms when we are asked about our marital status and we select the married option, the form should enable the necessary fields to enter the data of our spouse, not being the case if we select the single option. Notice that I mentioned the terms enable disable fields and not just show hide. And I have done this with all intention since, in our plugin, the disabled fields in addition to being hidden are excluded from the form submission and are ignored from the equations associated with the calculated fields. Once we have described what the dependencies are, we will see how to configure them in the Calculated Fields Form plugin. The Calculated Fields Form plugin allows you to configure dependencies from checkbox, radio buttons, drop down, and calculated fields. The way to configure dependencies on checkbox, radio buttons, and drop-down fields is very similar. In all of them, you will have a link in the configuration section of the options to enable or disable dependencies. By clicking on the Show Dependencies link, the plugin displays under each option the list of fields to select those that you will configure as dependent on the option. You can configure as many dependent fields as you want. Just press the plus symbol button as many times as you want to configure. In calculated fields, the way to configure dependencies is different since they would be related to the result of the equations. The section for the configuration of dependencies allows you to enter the dependencies in a visual way, that is selecting the condition to be met from a list with options such as less than, equal to, greater than, among others, and entering the value to be compared. As in the previous case, it is possible to add as many fields as you want to the dependency rule. The other way to enter dependency conditions in calculated fields is manually. When you enter the conditions in manual mode, you will have to use the reserved word value to refer to the result of the equation. Manual mode is a must if you want to create a more complex validation rule, such as enabling dependent fields when the equation result is within a range. Now, what about the rest of the fields? How to set up value-dependent fields of a currency or numeric field? How to enable certain fields when a user selects a certain date within a date field? Or the number of characters in a text area field? Etc. For all these cases, you must use calculated fields as auxiliaries. To do this, the plugin includes two operations, activate field and ignore field, both in the managing fields operations module. The activate field operation as its name suggests, enables the field whose name passes as a parameter, while ignore field disables it. Note that when using a calculated field as an auxiliary, you can hide it and exclude it from form submission by checking a couple of checkboxes in its settings. To understand how to use these operations, let's look at a practical example. 
Suppose we are creating a form for a catering company and some of the products or services would only be available on Christmas night on December 24th. To do this, insert a date field in the form that we will call field name one. And the specific products or services for Christmas night are field name two, field name three, and field name four. In this example, we are only gonna take these fields into account. To create the dependencies, we must insert a calculated field inside the form that we will use as an auxiliary field. You can hide it and exclude it from sending the form. And we would introduce the following equation in its settings. Note that in the case of the fields, field name two, field name three, and field name four, I use the end suffix. This suffix is called a modifier. We will describe the modifiers in another video. However, for the case at hand, it is enough to know that the plugin replaces the names of the fields and the equations with their values before evaluating them. But when we use the end modifier, we tell the plugin that we are referring specifically to the name of the field and not to its value.